Hello, beta testers. I am proud. When someone asked, should they pre-order Saints Row, the fans and defenders alike united in answering hell no. In unity, holding hands across the aisles with love, gay, straight, trans, binaries, and blue moons, pots of golden rainbows, and me red balloons, that's me lucky charms. One entry reads, better to wait for the reviews and see how it plays, then give it a shot. Another entry reads, personally, I don't think Volition has proven anything in the last decade to, to deserve a pre-order. Another response reads, reviews and impressions from early copy snaggers should come out before release, so you can just wait to buy after that. If reviews are release day embargoed, then abandon ship. Don't pre-order the game. That is so based! Jesus Christ! Whoa, it's so based! Whoa. I dare you to clip it. And that's how I felt. You don't know how to clip it. You don't know. You're stupid. Star Wars really Jedi mind trick people into thinking they can get away with alienating their own fan base. So of course people were pissing themselves laughing when you, developer, were stupid enough to open your mouth and say some shit like this. Among the things that we think about a lot, you know, are, are make sure that you're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Got it. Decent gangbangers uh, shooting people because of the deaths that they're in, but that's absurdist, not mean. We should also be laughing with criminals, not at them. I guess what's happening in, like, schools and at parades is just a barrel of laughs to the psychopaths at Volition. And to be frank, that's the energy that these fucking dweebs give off, is like, you. we should be nice to them, maybe give them candy so that when they come shoot the place up that they re remember me, remember me, hey, hi. I hate this. Ooh, don't, ooh, you got, you got an extra one? I'll help you. I hate this place. 100% they're relatable. I would not do what they do to pay down the student loans, but I get where they're coming from. All of a sudden, 100% they're relatable. 100% they're relatable. 100% relatable? I'm sorry. What? Boy? That's concentrated cringe. Whatever they pay you, it's not enough to tell a lie that absurd. You really cut the music out. You, in what reality, you clown, are these lazy placeholder hipsters, identical to watchdog leftovers, literal background NPCs in a good game? How is this relatable? Somebody got paid to, air quotes, design this heinous fart. And now you're attempting to convince people that they're relatable by flat out saying they're so hashtag relatable. Why don't you tell us that your women are strong next? Because you say so. And, and let everybody know that, yes, you can pet the dog. You fucking pussies. Every time I look at your face, I get the rice and gravy shit. You do you. You can look as slick as you want in your customized ride all day. All day. All day. All day. You do you. The line delivery from these NPCs is as stale as the writing is dated and forced. Volition. You do you. Unless you have titties, honey. Sorry, the decade-old game had you covered, but this game's staff is insecure and flat and ugly. <laughs> the old-school Volition fans actually wanted to make this game would have hired a drag queen, not just to show them how best titties can look in and out of tops, but to get some savage voiceovers, better than any of your fucking dweeb-ass hired writers could manage. Why? Because they would be in touch. Volition, I know reality is scary and triggering for the melted jizz that you call a staff, but even your music choice is boneheaded to the point of like epitomizing out of touch. I couldn't think of a worse choice than like R&B music for a Doom trailer, and even that would be ironically fucking based. A teaspoon of sense would have helped y'all realize whom people identify with. They're making a video game, but of course they're so woke that they removed gender and race because someone on staff is a triggered pussy. 
So you can only have one crib in your game. No cheats, which were effectively like the mods, the fun. You took the fun out, you know, that would enhance replayability. Cool. But I guess you're saving a lot of what you consider creative for multiplayer, right? The multiplayer that doesn't launch with Saints Row. But that's supposed to be okay because it's not like you delayed your game six months and had time to polish or something. Oh, wait, you did. You delayed your game for half a year because it was initially supposed to come out in February, but it's still not launching with multiplayer for what I can assume is one of two reasons. One, it ain't ready, <laughs> which wouldn't be surprising considering we're less than two months away and you haven't put out a hands-on gameplay thing for, for anybody to enjoy. Number two, you could be deliberately withholding it to trick outsiders into believing that you have a content cadence anywhere similar to the other live services that you're hoping people don't play because otherwise they'd be able to see just how shit and lacking your version is. In removing the cheats though, you screw over the single player preferers specifically. But I guess you agree with EA, right? Just so we're clear, Saints Woke agrees with EA uh, Jordan Peterson, because, you know, how dare those girls have any kind of ass or titties. Supreme Court, you agree with them because, you know, women shouldn't get a choice. Amber Heard, throw her up there. You know, my criticism's already being labeled as hate, God forbid, right? Let's just assume uh, you're hyper-religious as well, since science has proved yet again that attractive women in video games are not what's screwing over the fucking world, but y'all niggas can't read. So I don't expect you to be able to, to come to any conclusions based on studies. Do you know what I mean? As it turns out, it wasn't the pretty women in video games that were leading to misogyny. Maybe it was the cocksuckers taking outlets that people pay for and removing the edge and relatability that people needed to keep from, I don't know, being the reason for a tragedy when they go out every day. Some of us aren't drowning our sorrows with a mega pint or popping pills or shooting up. We like to unwind with a decent game. And if y'all the ones making these things these days, pass, give this to Devolver, give it to literally anybody, literally anybody could strike a tone that wouldn't result in such backlash. Woke, stubborn, arrogant, stupid. I'm used to these things. What I'm not used to is watching people make habitual mistakes that light the potential money that they could make on fire in front of everybody's eyes. I figured there must be one person at your pussy ass studio that could benefit from the game doing well. Clearly, I am mistaken. Nothing will stand between y'all and ignorance. Good luck. The sidewalk is the church, and my penis is the steeple. Riding down the sidewalk, making crayons out of people. Squeeze that toothpaste, and the meat comes out. Got this big ass boner while I'm killing people. No doubt I'm in this truck, and I'm riding down the street, motherfucker. Then I get up on the sidewalk. Skeet, skeet, bitch. It feels so good. Oh no, I got wood cause I'm killing. I'm not a villain. It's just therapeutic to kill these dudes. Oh, they got me in the mood. I need a gangsta bitch. I need a gangsta bitch. I want a gangsta booty with my gangsta bitch. I need a... I want a... I want a gangsta bitch. Like Toy Story without the toys. Like Batman without Batman. But what if Batman was a woman? That shoot would be perfect when it fits a woman. Take that glass ceiling. What do you mean the main actress quit? What do you mean no one's watching? What do you mean we're canceled? Uh, what do you mean our network is selling for zero dollars? Remember The Last of Us 2? 